Hi, today we're going to talk about the triangle mid-segment theorem with a brief overview of corresponding angles. The theorem says if a segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the segment is parallel to the third side and is half the length. So two important ideas here. It's parallel to the third side, okay, keep that in mind, and half the length. So segment AB, this entire big segment, is going to be double this segment from G, from G to H. And consequently, GH is half of AB. So as I move this around, you can kind of see how these numbers are changing. And it doesn't matter if our triangle is right triangle or equilateral or scalene or obtuse. This holds up for all kinds of triangles. Now, as you can see, I've drawn in this triangle every one of these little points right here, right here, and right here are midpoints of the segments of the outside of the triangle. So you can see here as I move this around, same thing as the, the previous one with the red segments, even when I make it way down here. And finally, the third one, which is green. You notice when I move it from side to side, the values don't change. And that is because the base of our triangle here isn't changing at all. So therefore, the mid-segment in the middle won't change either. Neat, but if I do this, if I grab another one, the length of that bottom part is changing around, so the middle does change. Okay, gul colors galore. Now I want you to notice the following. AM, which is this part right here, this value, 7.99, and is congruent to, equal to, the measure of BM, right here. So 7.99 for both of them, these are just plain old units. But this is also equal to, each one of those little half pieces is equal to uh, the mid-segment here. A lot of times when students are learning this material, they'll get homework problems that will in some way ask them to remember this fact, like you might get an you know, x here, and then they'll give you the value here, and they'll say, oh, find what the value of x is, or find this one. So, kind of putting the pieces together, please keep this in mind. Those three things are equal to each other. Okay, now finally, just a brief review on corresponding angles. Corresponding angle is what we get when we have two parallel lines and a transversal just in case you forgot what those mean. Uh, our green lines here, those are going to be our parallel lines. They go in both directions and they will never cross each other, never intersect. And a transversal is just a, a third line that will cut through both of them. Now you'll notice the angles formed here. Angle BAC, which is BAC, the really huge one down here, 49.2, is going to be congruent to the same as angle BMH. So these two are always going to be the same angle, even when I stretch the triangle in a lot of weird, impossible directions.